The journey's been mental and it, it's only sort of happened in three years. And um, like one minute I was playing 18s every day and then into the 23s and about three weeks after I was first team. Um, so it's, it's just getting that chance and taking it. And I felt that I've done that, but it doesn't stop here. Well, the earliest memories, he would have been less probably, you're looking at around about two years old, kicking the ball in the kitchen, literally smashing it one, one end of the room, turning around, picking it up, going and doing it again. Um, that was pretty early. I was quite fortunate in the fact that I had time to play with him a lot in the garden or take him over the field and play. Um, it was just something that he, he, he just got natural. You could tell he had a natural ability of a technique of kicking the ball and he enjoyed doing it really. Um, he wasn't too interested in anything else. JJ was always a pleasure to coach. Um, he was someone who was always a really good listener and a good learner and always give 100% in the sessions and he was, that's what really stuck out. He was always um, listening, learning and trying to improve and develop himself, even as a, even as a nine and 10 year old. Little blonde haired boy, full of energy, um, very good with the ball um, and had a, he had a real nice footballing personality from a very young age really. Um, so yeah, I, I would say probably nines or ten, something like that would probably be the first time I saw him. I think coming here at such a young age, it was like, wow, because I haven't played much Sunday league football and all of a sudden I was at a, a big club like Blues and I didn't really know what was going on, I was just coming and playing football. Um, and at that age you just want to express yourself, you want to enjoy yourself because as you get older it gets more important, games get more important, so just to express myself. He was kind of brought up in that environment, so I'd be at training, he would often in holidays he'd come with me for the week, if it was half term, he'd spend the whole week at, at the club, uh, he'd just be in that environment and he was just I guess he was just used to it, um, so that kind of helped him later on being at a football club and understanding what goes on around the football club. I was a late developer, so I was, I was really small at the age of 16, 17. So um, at 17, Mike Dodds called me in for a meeting um, and he just said, you're underdeveloped, which is not an issue. Um, he said that he wants me to play down for a year. And at the time, I saw it as an opportunity to be the best player on the pitch. Um, so I went down that year, did really well, um, confidence, grew a lot and physically I grew a lot as well so it helped me a lot in that instance um, and then going back to the 18s I joined with the 18s the season after and the confidence it all changed um, I started being the best player on the pitch I felt that I was the best player on the pitch and I think that really helped. So for JJ he's always been this he was one of the smallest if not the smallest in his age group um, part of that he was quite happy with he was he, he would He'd always battle, you know, he wasn't scared to use his body and, and try and do things, but um, the coaches could see that he wasn't able to express himself as much as he could uh, at that level, so they gave him the option of playing down a year group um, so that physically he would be able to cope a little bit more, he might be able to cope for a full game, um, express himself on the field and try things on, on the pitch that he couldn't do in his own age group. Um, so it was kind of a bit of a stroke of genius really by them and, and making that decision and for JJ to take that as a positive rather than a negative of playing down was, was the important thing really and he understood it. We obviously ran it by JJ and he was completely fine with it which is not, that's probably the, the first, you know, the first hurdle to overcome because if the player's not having that, especially as a young player, that's really, really hard and not every boy understands it. He, completely was on board with it straight away. Mum and Dad 
completely on board with it. And I think that was half the battle. Um, and that's what we did. And it just, you know, it, I just think it worked for him. I think it's a real, I think, it, I think it's a real nice success story for youth development because there will be so many boys up and down the country that will have the same scenario as JJ. I saw it as an opportunity to go there and be this player every game, enjoy it. And that's what I did. Two big question marks hanging over Lee Bowyer and what his team selection would be ahead of this encounter. And that was the fitness of the influential to Heath Chong and Christian Pedersen. Both, unfortunately, are unavailable. And there's a special moment for young Jordan James. The 17-year-old midfielder jumps up from the academy to be on the bench for the first time this season with the Blues. I just remember him kind of a few days before saying, Dad, I think I'm, uh, I think I'm going to be on the bench. He said, uh, I've been in training. I've trained a few times with the first team. Um, he said, I think they're thinking about putting me on the bench. And then the gaffer called me in and gave me a meeting. And um, he said that you and the squad pick your number. So I was like, oh, OK. Now, obviously, you've got to have a little bit of luck on the way. And, and at that time, there was a few injuries, a few suspensions. Um, so for him to get his opportunity, you know, he, you need that little bit of luck. Um, and then it was down to him to obviously do something with that opportunity. Again, it looks like Blues are, are going to make a change. And again, we talk about young players coming onto the pitch and what a moment this will be. I'm waiting around at like the 70th minute and we're 3-0 up at this point, I think. So I'm like, this could be a chance. And um, yeah, the gaffer told me to go warm up. And then I was waiting to come on and he goes, actually, JJ, sit back down. So I'm going, no way, no way. And then he goes, actually, come, come here. And he goes, can you play right wing back? I was like, what? And then he, um, nope. Actually, I did play right back when I was like 11, 12. There is something serious. And then he goes, um, Actually, actually, we'll put guards there and you can go in the middle. I was like, yes. Substitution for Birmingham City, replacing number 24, Jordan Graham. Number 19, Jordan James. And to our left, you could see uh, Jordan James's family celebrating the fact that he came on. Real proud moment for them and for the young man. Well, it's, it's what you dream of. It's making your family happy, your friends happy, um, and all the work they've done, because um, it's not just me that's made this happen. And I think it's credit to the club, and because they've allowed me to do this. Um, this wouldn't have happened without the family or the club. So I think we have to give credit to ourselves and, and the club. I think we just always had a belief that if we can be patient with him and he does grow and develop into a, you know, uh, develop more physically, that there was going to be a good footballer there. How good, we didn't quite know. Um, and, you know, and it's, and it's just lovely to see, it's lovely to see what he's doing. And, and like I say, I hope, hopefully he can stay, you know, he can keep building on what he's done so far. For a coach to see a player's journey from, I work in the foundation phase, so to see him from foundation phase to first team, that's what, that's what we're here to do. It's the, it's the dream, really, as a coach. And um, yeah, it's, it's the best feeling ever. You know, at the end of the day, he's in training with the first team constantly. They're always telling him how well he's doing, so his confidence is boosting. Um, the manager trusts him, which is massive. You know, he's thrown him on in games where they've been down to 10 men and he's asked him to do a job and he's done it. And he's not phased him one little bit. He's, he just sees it as football, it's what he's like, this is what I do, uh, I want to be able to do it and I, I want to be able to do it well. Cross is a chance for Jordan James, who scores his first goal for Blues! Fantastic finish by the young man! You look at the players that have come through just this season, obviously George Hall, Nico Gordon a few years back, um, it's amazing. Um, and that doesn't happen through, you just get there, it's hard work from the coaches, from the staff. Um, and all the club to get us, to allow us to, to be in the first team. Well, JJ, a very proud night for you making your full senior Blues debut. How was it out there? Yeah, obviously it's a, it's a dream come true. Um, it shows that anything's possible for younger kids because I've had my ups and downs and obviously to get on that pitch tonight was, was amazing. <laughs>